kid, I got bullied quite a lot. Um, faced foster homes, care, um, drug abuse, homelessness, a lot of stuff really. Mason had a tough start in life. He lost his mother to drugs, but he got addicted himself. From a young age, he lived with consequences each day. On the street, he suffered in silence. It was horrible, always moving around. I never, I never really had a stable home when I was a child as with family members, because I bounced around from a lot of foster families. Um, my family was very highly based around drugs and drug dealing when I was a young kid, so which led me then to move into foster care, which then led me to move into hostels, which I then found con connections with Rob, which led me to here. And here, where his success story began, he joined the fight to fight homelessness two years ago. He never missed a session. Now, his entire life is about martial arts. Last October, I competed in a victory grappling match for the first time competing. Um, I then competed at the Craig Ewers Interclub for Jiu Jitsu in January, where I won the bronze medal, winning three matches, losing three. And I now have my fight, and then, which will be MMA debut against a tough opponent. And I can't believe it's happening, really, so it's going to go well. Amazing. I've never felt better. I feel healthier than I've ever been in my life. What did you find in martial arts that made you want to take up this sport? The discipline. Um, I lived my life very on the edge, just doing what I wanted, not really taking care to anything really except myself. And then when I got into martial arts, it showed me that you, you gotta, you got to show a certain amount of discipline to get to where you want to be. Mason has been on a challenging path. He faced homelessness and everything else that life threw at him. Today, he's not only hitting back harder, but inspiring others too. So what I'm really, really proud of with Mason is he's the first one to break the mold, meaning that other young people will see him and now know that it's realistic to achieve these kind of goals, whether it's competing in an MMA match, grappling match, Muay Thai match, whatever it is, Mason has proven that that can be done now. And through fighting homelessness, we can help people achieve that. The grass ain't greener on the other side, it's greener where you grow it. They also say there is a light at the end of every dark tunnel. To see where he's now, to what could have been, this is Mason's fighting story. Isa Farfour, ITV News.